Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Gwen and this is the third part of my craft organization. Without further ado, let's get started. I won't be doing a lot of talking in this video. It's mostly going to be just a show and tell type situation with some music in the background. But I wanted to um, show you a before look at my craft armoire. This is just a regular like um, entertainment center style armoire which I purchased many years ago and I transformed it into like a craft storage and it's been working out pretty well for me all these years however it does tend to get really messy um, if I don't keep up with it as you can see the state that it's in it's rather messy so I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to get this place organized I'm just tackling the top half of this armoire As you can see here, all I'm doing is reusing um, an old container uh, to store my craft beads in. And I'm just using one of these black chalkboard labels from Dollar Tree. It's a sticker pack with a chalk marker and just labeling it. And here I'm sharing my collection of wall stickers from Dollar Tree. I have a ton as you can tell. They were getting a little messed up just from being stored and um, folded and things like that. Just kind of things being placed on top of each other and then um, they were starting to get creased and whatnot. So this is why it's important to have a good way of storing your sticker items especially because um, you know it does tend to get messed up easily if you don't have a good way of properly keeping it organized. So here I'm just going to utilize the inside of these um, doors right here. I should have done this a long time ago, but um, I am just taking some Dollar Tree uh, wall hooks and you can also use the, like the command brand, but this is just like the Dollar Tree brand that I had on hand and I just used the one that would fit the holes of the, um, of the wall stickers. So I just placed one to each uh, door so the insides of each of these doors and it works out perfectly because you know they just hang um, nicely right here and as you can see right there um, some of the stickers were you know uh, folded and creased and whatnot and they weren't laying straight so all I did to remedy that was use a clothespin and just um, clipped at the bottom so everything would lay flat so the rest here, I'm just going to go uh, through uh, row by row and just uh, tackle each one at a time. And I'll go ahead and let you watch what I'm doing right here. Uh, there is really no rhyme or reason to how I'm getting uh, this whole uh, craft storage organized. And that door right there on the left, um, unfortunately, it won't stay open because of the um, the cube storage that I have going on on the left side and it's in the way so I'm not able to give you a very good view of the inside of this armoire unfortunately so that's why you'll see me sort of um, holding the door open um, as I get in there but I'm gonna do my best to show you the inside and you'll get a picture of that later um, especially in the the reveal
So I was definitely discovering a lot of things I haven't seen in a while um, because um, these things that are stored in here just sort of got lost in this cabinet and it was just a little hard to get to so I didn't really access the items I had in here very often so I was finding a lot of treasures that I hadn't seen in a while which I am excited to use now that I know that I have them and um, that things are a little bit more organized. This was also a perfect opportunity for me to sort of gather all the things that were misplaced and items that had not been put back where they belong. Like I found a lot of um, wooden dowels that were not um, together. So anytime I would come across some wooden dowels in different areas, I would just sort of bring them back to the one um, bag that they belonged in and just sort of corral everything the way that they should be in the first place. And then I also found other things in here like seasonal decor, like seasonal items that I went ahead and distributed to my cube storage um, since I did designate different holidays um, for different uh, bins. So anything I found in this armoire that uh, were more seasonal or holiday um, specific, I would just go ahead and um, place those into the appropriate bins. I also have a lot of stickers, like regular stickers that I've collected over time. And the, the basket that you see inside here is just a fraction of what I actually have. I have tons more in a different part of this uh, craft corner. Um, however, the one that I'm keeping in here is just whatever could fit um, in this little basket that you'll see in the end. But um, I decided that I was going to separate like the alphabet stickers just so it would be easier if um, I needed to uh, do a DIY with words and things like that. And it would just make it so much easier to find all of my alphabet stickers just um, designated, you know, into one uh, place. So here I'm just sort of separating the stickers that um, were alphabet stickers and just uh, placing them to the side. And then I also was getting any rub-on transfers that were in this basket and just uh, putting those into another bin where I have like um, a lot of my rub-on transfers already stored. So here this was just a matter of really micro-organizing and um, assigning specific like areas for uh, more specific items so rather than um, just placing all stickers of all sorts into one basket it helps to definitely assign um, a basket for a specific style of sticker um, like I said it just makes it so much easier when you are trying to craft and uh, DIY something that you might want to create like wording for um, that way you're not you know rifling through all of the stickers and trying to find you know where your alphabet stickers are or trying to um, remember where you place them I mean obviously this has happened to me which is why I bring this point up right now but um, I think it's gonna definitely help me out in the future So this basket, as you can see, is just where I stored 
some of my miscellaneous wood items. And this next basket here is just a bunch of ribbons. Again, this is something that I have not seen in quite some time. Um, so it is interesting to always go through some items that I have not come across and, you know, realize that I do have a lot of really cool things. And, you know, it's just like a fun surprise to find what I have. I don't know if you guys ever uh, go through that where you don't know or you lose track of what you actually have and then when you actually go to organize you find a lot of things uh, i call it i like to call it treasures <laughs> so you find a lot of treasures that uh, you forgot about so it's just like christmas or like you just shop for it because it's like a whole brand new thing again it's kind of exciting um so again it's just gonna be fun to actually get get to utilize those items that I found. Now that the majority of the interior of this armoire cabinet is complete, at least I think so, um, at least for the time being, I'm just doing some last minute uh, rearranging on top of my cubicle sh uh, storage. So let's take a final look at the after. This is just a glance at how it looks after everything has been organized. And this is the best that I can do um, given the limited space that I have. Um, it just shows you that things don't have to be perfect. You know, it just has to be um, functional and it has to work for you. That's the most important thing. So as long as you are able to find your items and have everything organized in a fashion where uh, it's labeled and easily accessible you have similar items um, in one bin or storage um, then I think it definitely makes it a lot more easier to find and um, this right here this clear bin is actually a refrigerator bin from the Dollar Tree uh, I made that a storage for my chalkboard labels and tags and wood tags it's perfect because it's clear. Um, I wish I would have found more. This uh, basket right here is just some random stickers. And again, this is just a small portion of uh, the stickers that I have, but that's just the amount that I kept in that basket. I did store some um, styrofoam in that one container there. I have some other like shoebox containers in there. Um, some contain like ribbons and just a lot of like embellishments and things like that. Um, my extra adhesive is in that pink basket with the clamps hanging from it. Those are like all my wood glue, the things that couldn't fit on my pegboard. So that is it for this video. I hope that I have inspired you to do a little cleanup of your own in your craft space or anywhere in your house and maybe got a couple ideas here and there. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in my next one.